Hey, how you doing? Brandon here, Lab Director, Global Energy Laboratories. Do you have frac sand? Episode number two, sphericity and roundness testing. Um, so the perfect frac sand is round and spherical like a marble. It's hard like a diamond, uh, and it's the right size, just like the customer wants. Um, of course, in reality, our sands are never going to be perfect, but there are some sands out there that have uh, pretty darn high uh, sphery sphericity and roundness qualities to them. And how does yours measure up? Well, the test is two parts. Uh, Sphericity is how close does the sand particle approach the shape of a sphere. And roundness is how angular is it? Are, does it have sharp, pronounced angles on the sand particle, or is it, uh, are there hardly any noticeable angles? And the way that that you can determine uh, roundness and sphericity is uh, it's kind of old school. Um, Got to go back in time, 1963. A uh, couple uh, soil scientists, uh, Krumbin and Sloss, developed this chart. Uh, and here's the chart right here up on the screen. And this chart is still used today. And what we do is estimate how round and spherical the sand particles are. Uh, we s randomly select 20 or more grains, uh, view them through our microscope. Uh, here's someone looking through a microscope. Um, and what you do is you compare uh, the sand particles in the field of view to that Krumbin and Sloss chart and you keep doing that for all the grains, doing it very meticulously and, uh, and carefully to make sure that you don't get off onto another grain, that you're, that you're capturing the, the quality of each grain. And then what we do is we average um, the readings for those 20 plus randomly selected particles and we develop a roundness and sphericity um, quality. And the American Petroleum Institute recommends uh, in their standard recommended practices that both the roundness and sphericity be 0.6 or greater uh, to be used for fracturing. And again, that 0.6 comes from uh, that Krumbin and Sloss chart and looking at 20 plus particles, finding the average, etc. Now, what do you want to look for in a lab that you hire? Okay, uh, big things with this test. You want to make sure the lab is clean. You want to make sure that they are actually analyzing your sand. And then you want to make sure that they're doing a good amount of uh, sample splitting. And what sample splitting is, um, you use a splitter, especially built for splitting apart and uh, splitting down to make smaller samples out of a larger uh, sample size. Uh, what I do, I pour it in the top of the splitter and it splits it into two roughly equal parts randomly. And this randomizes the sample so that you get a representative uh, small sample that you know is representative of the of the larger sample. And this, this just makes sure that, uh, that um, well, what, what we're getting is going to be common throughout your entire, uh, all your sand. Uh, the technician, you want them to be well trained and follow the procedure exactly. And if possible, perhaps team members uh, can critique each other on their sphericity and roundness uh, readings and judgment and skill, and uh, and you'll get uh, an accurate reading. 